Hi Scorpio, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. And also, my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, any planet in your birth chart in Scorpio. All right. What do I want to do here? Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to be using this Oracle card deck first. Let's see what your person is thinking about you currently. See, spirit angels and guides, please show me what is this person currently thinking about in regards to Scorpio and their current relationship or connection with Scorpio. What is this person thinking about? Let's get one more shuffle. What is this person currently thinking about in regards to Scorpio? And their current relationship with Scorpio. It says, sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life sometimes. So this person feels like they sabotage the relationship with you, um, Scorpio. That's how they're currently feeling. Tell me more, Spirit. What is this person thinking or feeling in regards to Scorpio currently? It says, confusion, I feel unclear about where we stand. Okay. I mess up the good things in my life, sabotage. I feel unclear about where we stand, confusion. This person is confused about their intentions with you, Scorpio. They're confused, they're indecisive. There could be a third party situation because I am kind of feeling that. Let's get another one here, Spirit. What's, what's this person currently thinking and feeling? Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. Overwhelmed. The stress from this is draining me. It's probably draining you too, Scorpio. Probably. I'm not looking at your energy, but I don't know. We'll see. It says regret at the bottom of the deck. I wish this never happened. I wish this never happened. Okay, so this person is feeling regretful over something that they feel like they did wrong to you. Again, they feel like they sabotaged the relationship. They're feeling stress. They're confused about what to do about it. I want to look at this confusion card. Hmm. Look at the bottom. It also says, I feel shattered about this situation broken. I feel shattered about this situation broken. Unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. Things didn't go the way I planned. Yeah, I'm just getting the cards from the bottom of the deck here. All right, but I, I want to look at confusion. Tell me about confusion, spirit. I feel unclear about where we stand. <clears throat> Tell me about confusion. Okay. Yeah, we do have the Eight of Swords here. That's definitely an energy of someone feeling conflicted. Why is this person feeling conflicted? Why is this person feeling conflicted? Why the Eight of Swords? Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I am getting a third party situation for some of you. 
<clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, for me, many times is a third party. It's also an energy of, you know, settling down with someone and um, having a stable relationship with someone, being committed. So I do feel like this person is confused about their intentions to commit to you or they're indecisive. They're indecisive about committing themselves to you, but we'll see. Let's take a look at the tarot cards now and see what their current feelings are. Actually, let's get more clarity with the Oracle card deck here. This Oracle card deck. What's going on with this person's spirit in regards to Scorpio? What's the current situation between Scorpio and this person? Uh, Queen of Pentacles can represent finances. This person might be um, feeling conflicted over finances as well. It could also be over a living situation. What's the current situation between Scorpio and their person? We have drama, petty arguments, wanting to be with you, rushing, giving me time, give me time. There is no one else drama. It says there is no one else. So some of you might have had some sort of fight or argument or disagreement with this person in regards to a third party. This person might have claimed to you that there is no one else. Tell me more about the current situation between Scorpio and their person. Thank you, Spirit. Recharge. Emotionally or physically drained, checked out, exhausted. Oh, this is what I was saying about you, um, Scorpio. Yeah. When, when this card showed up, the overwhelmed card, um, I feel like some of you are also overwhelmed with this situation. Um, you're emotionally or physically drained, checked out, exhausted. Exhausted with the drama or the um, the lack of trust. All right, let's get one more. What's the current situation between Scorpio and their person? P pace, slow down, getting to know you. Let's see if we're compatible. Okay, so some of you are kind of on on a break from this person. You've you've taken a break. You've, you've retracted your energy, you distance yourself, you, you might feel like you need to get away from this person, you know, their, their energy is too, is affecting you too much. Okay. What's at the bottom? Bad dates. I don't feel like this is going to work out. We may not be a match. Some of you might feel like um, you and this person are just not going to work out together. There's too many differences. All right, which deck do I want to use, Spirit? This one? All right, let's use the, the tarot cards now to take a look at their current feelings. Spirit, angels, and guys, what are this person's current feelings for Scorpio? What are this person's current feelings for Scorpio, please? <clears throat> okay. I just heard use um, uprights and reversals, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I only had uprights in the deck. So let's mix it up and put uprights and reversals. There we go. One more shuffle. All right. I wasn't going to use reversals, but I just heard um, to use it. So let's see. 
What are this person's current feelings for Scorpio currently? We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess in reverse. Um, okay. We have the King of Swords in reverse. At the bottom, Two of Swords. Okay, so this person is like blocking you out. Hmm. They're hiding a lot of truth also. They're hiding the truth from you. They don't want to talk about the truth. They're avoiding talking about the truth. They're avoiding having a conversation. They know that this is a conversation that that they should be having with you. It's a, yeah, they know that there's something that they did that was not right that they need to apologize for, something something that caused an ending between you two. But we have the King of Swords in reverse, so it's like they know, they know they did something wrong. King of Swords in reverse and the Hierophant in reverse. They know they did something wrong. They know they um, made a wrong decision or took some sort of wrong action towards you that resulted in a painful ending. But I feel like this person is trying to, you know, block out all emotion and thoughts in regards to you and this situation here, this relationship with you. And I do see them trying to just focus on their work, their career, their finances. They're trying to kind of keep themselves busy and distract themselves. They're not listening to their intuition. High Priestess is in reverse with the Hierophant in reverse. So this person is not listening to their intuition. I feel like their intuition is, t is trying to guide them towards doing the right thing. And what is that? Let me look at that. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse spirit. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. This looks like someone who's like avoiding the subject, avoiding a conversation, because they know they're going to, you know, look bad. They're, they, they know they're, they know they're the ones that are going to end up looking bad because they're the ones who messed up. And I feel like this person isn't ready to confront that, confront their, their, their mistake or mistakes and like acknowledge it and be honest about it. I feel like this person is just trying to um, hide, you know? What's the High Priestess in reverse? Yeah, Five of Cups. That's what, they're, that's, that's what they're not listening to here. I feel like their intuition is telling them to make amends with the Five of Cups because this is an energy of feeling guilty, feeling sad and feeling guilty. And I feel like their intuition is telling, you, um, telling them to make amends, you know? To, to recognize, you know, what they did wrong and to, apologize or just, you know, acknowledge it and come to terms with it and accept it. Hmm. Hold on. You know, I don't I don't know that they need to like you know, ask you for forgiveness. It doesn't I don't feel like that's necessary. It's more about them, you know, acknowledging it within themselves and trying to learn from it 
and make peace with it and accept it and you know make the the appropriate changes in themselves you know it's not really about needing to go to you and and apologize though that's something they could do as well but more than anything it's about them like changing, making the changes, making positive changes in within themselves. <clears throat> and not, you know, ignoring their, their mistakes. And trying to use, you know, work and other things to distract themselves. That's not going to fix the problem, you know. And the problem, more than anything, is you know, within themselves. What's this King of Swords in reverse? Why is this person in this energy of the King of Swords in reverse? Yeah, you see, Page of Pentacles, that's an apology. That's what they're not doing. King of Swords in reverse, they're not communicating this apology that they know they owe you. They know they owe you because that's the Hierophant is in reverse, which tells me that they know they owe you this apology. All right, let me finish with this energy. I'm going to take a look at you, uh, your energy now, Scorpio, and your feelings. And then we'll come back to your person. Let's see, what do I want to do with Scorpio spirit? Okay, upright sucker. Here we go. Spirit angels and guides, please show me what are Scorpio's current feelings for this person? How does Scorpio currently feel about this person's spirit? What are Scorpio's current feelings? Here we go. In regards to your feelings, yeah, five of wands. There's a lot of tension here, a lot of conflict, uh, drama. It showed up in this oracle card, drama. Tell me more, spirit. What are the what are Scorpio's current feelings for this person? You feel like it's always drama with this person. There's never any peace with this person. It's always chaos. What are Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is your current feelings. Tell me more. What are Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Oh, Two of Wands, I see. Okay. So you're trying to, you know, remove yourself from this energy of drama and constant tension, constant conflict. Um, you're, you're tired of it, yeah. Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This is you kind of um, mapping out a new direction in your life. Mapping out a new direction in your life. Um, this is you kind of looking forward towards new opportunities, new beginnings in a whole new direction. So you're ready to you're ready to take action towards your future on your own. Yeah, you just want to kind of um, start over here. You want to have a new beginning with your own self. Because this is a situation that it never gets better. It never gets better. Anything else, Spirit? Okay. So that you're in that you're in that middle energy here, you know. 
two of wands it's like you still haven't made any you have you still haven't made any decisions yet you're in that um door frame you know you're standing at the door frame getting ready to to push yourself forward in a new direction to exit this relationship, exit this energy, and embrace a new energy. Tell me more about um, Scorpio's current feelings, Spirit, about this person, whoever they're dealing with here. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. The Nine of Wands is here. A lot of wands here, a lot of fire. So things have gotten very heated between you and this person with all this fire. What are Scorpio's current feelings for this person? Eight of Cups, yeah. Eight of Cups, this is you walking away, you know, feeling tired, feeling wounded, feeling exhausted, walking away with the Eight of Cups. Four of Swords, this is you taking a rest here. Rebalancing your energy, rebalancing your emotions. Okay. Yeah. Because this this whole Five of Wands energy, this whole like um, drama that you've gone through with this person, it's made you very unstable. It's made you feel very unstable. And this is you kind of um, recovering that stability with your own, within your own self. And making plans. This is you making plans towards beginning again. Starting over. Hmm. All right. I'm done with your energy. Let's move on to your person. Let's return back to your person. See what's going to happen here. All right. Hmm. It's not a lot about their feelings, though. This is their energy. This is their energy. It's not really telling me their feelings. So let's take a look at that. And then we'll see um, actions this person will take. Spirit, how does this person currently feel about Scorpio? What are, this, what are this person's current feelings for Scorpio? Upright, okay. Thank you, Spirit. What are this person's current feelings for Scorpio? What are their true feelings for Scorpio currently? Ooh, jeez, it's five of swords. Lord. So they're pissed, basically. <laughs> I don't know. It's always funny how that happens. Um, it's like they're the ones who sabotage the relationship, and yet, and yet here they are feeling pissed at you, upset at you, you know, angry at you when they're the ones who sabotaged it. It's always funny how that happens. It's like they cheat on you. I'm just using that as an example. I'm not saying this person cheated, but it's like, you know, they come, they come and cheat on you with someone else and and then they get angry at you for for walking away from them. I don't it does, that doesn't make sense. You know? So you're dealing with someone who's obviously um very irrational and someone who doesn't make sense. Hmm. All right. Tell me more about their current feelings. 
yeah, Five of Swords is someone who's playing head games and mind games. Um, it looks like this person is like giving you the silent treatment on purpose. I don't understand this person's logic, honestly. Hmm. Oh, I see. Because you walked away from them. Because you had the Eight of Cups. You walked away from this person. Oh, this person doesn't think you're serious about, about walking away. They're kind of challenging you. They're, they're calling your bluff. They're calling your bluff. They're kind of in this energy of, eh, Scorpio's not gonna, Scorpio's not going anywhere. Scorpio is not going anywhere. Let me not stress about it. Scorpio just needs some time. And and then Scorpio will get over it and then we'll we'll get back together. You know? So tell me more about this person's um current feelings for Scorpio. Tell me more, Spirit. How does this person currently feel about Scorpio? We do have the Seven of Pentacles here. Um, seven of Pentacles. Five and seven. Yeah, this is someone who still wants you, Scorpio. They still want you. They still want to be in a relationship with, with you. They want this relationship to continue, to keep moving forward, to keep growing. This is not someone who wants to go anywhere. They want to stick with you. But the thing is that that's fine, but they're not acting correct. And apparently they're being non-committal here with the Hierophant in reverse. So it's like, it's very one-sided here with this person. Tell me more about this person's current feelings for Scorpio. Let's get one more. This is this energy is repeating itself. One more in regards to this person's current feelings for Scorpio. All right, yeah, three of swords. Um, this person is heartbroken. They're they do feel devastated. They do feel devastated that that you're no longer with them. That you walked away. That the relationship fell apart. You know, that there's an ending here with the, ten, with the Ten of Swords between you and them. I feel like this person is telling themselves that it's going to be okay, that, you know, you just need some time apart, and then, and then the relationship can be um, repaired afterwards. But I don't think that they even believe that. You know, I feel like that's what they're telling themselves, but they're not really confident about that. But they're telling themselves, don't worry about it, you know, it'll get fixed. It'll get fixed. It's just, uh, Scorpio just needs some time. I'll, apolo I'll apologize afterwards, you know, after some time has passed. I'll apologize afterwards. What are this person's intentions with Scorpio spirit? What are this person's current intentions with Scorpio? Oh Lord, this person's a mess. What are this person's current intentions with Scorpio? This feels like control, King of Wands upright. It's like an energy of controlling. Their intentions is to, that's, didn't I tell you? That's what I was talking about. That's what I was telling you. I, this person intends to regain control over you and over this relationship. And I told you, they're, they're in this kind of confident energy of, look, I got this, you know? I feel like that's what they're telling themselves. I got this, I got this. I know what I have to do. I know, I know what the strategy is here. I know what the right strategy is here. I just need to back off, you know, not talk to Scorpio, let them have their space and time, 
and then I'll come back in and I'll, and I'll work my charm. I'll work my charm, right? King of Wands is very charming. I'll work my charm, I'll apologize, and we'll be back together like, like, like we were before. We'll be back together like we were before. You're dealing with someone who's non-committal. I'm guessing that's your issue. I didn't really look at your energy in, in that aspect, but you're dealing with someone who's a player and, and non-committal. You're also dealing with someone who's very contradictory because over here they're saying that they want to build with you and they want to grow with you. But at the same time, it's like this person is um, trying to kind of keep themselves in this energy of uh, being free and being single and being independent, you know? If that makes sense. All right, so those are their intentions currently. Let's see what actions will this person take towards you moving forward. It's not looking good with this person so far. Let's see. Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Scorpio? Moving forward, please. What actions will this person be taking towards Scorpio? Moving forward. What actions will this person take towards Scorpio moving forward? Ace of Wands. Okay, so they will be taking action towards you. Ace of Wands is an action card. Um, they are going to they are going to attempt a new beginning. <coughs> Sorry about my throat. They're going to attempt to have a passionate new beginning with you. Tell me more about their actions moving forward towards Scorpio. Tell me more about their actions towards Scorpio moving forward. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. They're still going to have their options open. They're still going to keep their options open. Okay, so... Yeah, this person's going to take action towards you, but it's going to be, you know, the same old, same old. Same old, same old energy, same old, same old situation with this person, you know. You're not really going to get anything different from them. They're not really going to say anything different either. Um, yeah, this feels like someone who's just going to keep trying to, you know, play their games with you. Because they feel like... They feel like they they still, what do you call it? Like they still have the, the skill here, you know? They feel like they still have the skill to, to reel you back in. I don't know, maybe this person has done that before. And I feel like you're also dealing with someone who's very ov overly confident, you know? Kind of arrogant and overly confident about themselves so i feel like this person feels like they can pull it off they can pull off a reconciliation here with you without having to change so that's what they're going to be attempting moving forward they're going to be attempting a new beginning with you but with the same energy it's almost like they're testing you scorpio they're testing you in a way they're challenging you you know You know, they want to see if you really can, if you really do have the strength to um, to say no to them again, to resist them. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at some advice here for you. Spare any advice for Scorpio, please, in regards to this person and this situation, this relationship. see 
Any advice for Scorpio? Okay. You can't be bitter and expect your love life to be sweet. Stay positive. This feels like it could be for you, for this person also. You can't be bitter and expect your love life to be sweet. Stay positive. Um, I feel like this is for your person. It feels like it connects more to them. Sometimes the advice can come for can come out for your person and not for you. Let's see. Trust the energy you feel around a person or a situation. This energy will tell you all you need to know. Trust yourself. This one feels like it's for you, Scorpio. Um, let me see if you can see that. I don't know if you can see them or if it's blurry. It says, trust the energy you feel around a, a person or a situation. This energy will tell you all you need to know. And at the bottom, it says, trust yourself. Okay, that's the advice for you, Scorpio. So I'm going to end the reading here. I hope this was helpful in some way. And, if, and I hope it resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.